Hello everyone, this is Adnan with another video series and this is a brand new series in which I am going to show you how to work with Office 365 which is now known as Microsoft 365. Uh, so in this series we are going to uh, we are going to take another project approach in which we are going to uh, we are going to migrate 400 users to Office 365 or Microsoft 365 and then we will configure all of the Office 365 services. So basically Office 365 is a SaaS solution from, uh, from Microsoft and uh, SaaS means it is a software as a service in which, uh, in which clients or the end users uh, only use the services and they don't, they don't have to manage the infrastructure. So uh, this is in this series. I'm gonna go by. Uh, try, I'll try to make uh, small videos, uh, less than ten or fifteen minutes. Uh, so uh, in order to in order to accomplish all project tasks. So let's see what what do we need to do. So first of all, <clears throat> what is Office 365? Office 365 is a cloud offering service. It's a SaaS solution from Microsoft, in which Microsoft can provide. In which Microsoft is providing in which Microsoft is uh, basically providing uh, Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, uh, Teams, and uh, many other services. So at the moment, Microsoft 365 provides 41 services uh, to its customers. So the clients, uh, the end user, uh, only what they have to do, they just need to buy uh, one license. And uh, with that one license, they can use all of the services, uh, all of the services uh, that are included with Microsoft 365. So, uh, so in this uh, in this video lab, uh, what, what do we need to do? So, in this, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to create an Active Directory server uh, which will simulate uh, local data center. So, this is an Active Directory server. It will be a server to 2016. We will name this server as 360 Cloud WinServe01. This will be the IP address. In order to install this server, you need a tool called VMware Workstation. So, you will download a tool called VMware Workstation. 15, 15 dot uh, 5 or 16 whatever is the latest one or even if you have old one that VMware workstation will work fine uh, VMware workstation is a software by which you can create uh, virtual machines in your laptop so we need that one virtual machine and uh, uh, in that virtual machine, we are going to create Active Directory. First, we'll install Windows, and then we'll create. So first, we will create that VM in VMware Workstation. First, you need to install VMware Workstation. Once that is installed, and it's a straightforward install, then we'll create the VM, then we'll install the OS, uh, which is Server 2016. So you are going to need this ISO as well. Uh, and these both software can be downloaded from their respective websites. So VMware Workstation can be downloaded from VMware and Windows Server 2016 can be downloaded from a Microsoft website. Both are evaluation version and both will work fine for this lab. So you need to create a VM once you install VMware Workstation, then you install uh, operating system, which is uh, Server 2016, and then we install Active Directory, and then we will create 350 or 400 or 500 users through a PowerShell script, and I'll show you step by step how this can be done. Once this is all done, then we will m migrate these users from this server to Office 365. So this is an Office 365 cloud. Uh, in this cloud, we are going to migrate all of the, actually sync all the users. So it's not a migration, it's syncing of users. So it'll sync all of the users. So this is what we need to do on our laptop. And this is what we need to do on Microsoft 365. So in Microsoft 365, you need to register Microsoft 365 Enterprise Enterprise E5 uh, account. And this will be, this account is valid for 30 days and E5 means it's enterprise 5 account. There are three other types of, two other types of account, E3, uh, E3, uh, Microsoft 365, E3, uh, E3 and E5 and F1. So we are going to go with the best one, which is E5, and E5 has all of the services. Uh, so we will create this free account, and uh, so and then once this this free account is created, I'm going to show you step by step how this can be created. After that, we'll create one user called Global Admin within uh, Microsoft 365, and then we will download uh, Azure AD Connect on our domain controller. This domain controller previously that we created, so here we will create a domain. Uh, here we will download this utility called a Azure AD Connect. Uh, uh, so it will be installed on our domain controller. Once that is installed, then this will link 
this uh, this uh, software will link uh, the server to office 365 active directory so this will sync the user so let's get started first of all we are going to create an account in of in microsoft 365 so for that what, what we need to do is i am going to go to open uh, this environment we will create later in another video but to start with we are going to create microsoft 365 account So I'll copy this link. Uh, I will copy this link uh, with the video in the description. So here you can go directly to Office 365 or Microsoft 365. You can go to Microsoft 365. You can go to products here. And within the product, we're looking for enterprise plans and pricing. There are all these different type of pricing for home users, for business, and for uh, enterprise. So the difference between home users are home users. We know individual users. And business user and enterprise users are almost the same. The uh, the business user, this uh, this is for companies that has less than 300 accounts. If they have three less than 300 users, they can go with this. It's for basically for small business for large businesses it is enterprise uh, here they can go with plans and pricing in here so i'm going to go to plans and pricing uh, so all of them has almost the same type of uh, services so all of them basically microsoft 365 has to offer powerpoint word excel OneNote, publisher access and here are the three offerings uh, which is e3 e5 and f uh, this is F1, which is basically known as F3, so which is formally known as F1 uh, Microsoft 365. This is for uh, this is with less number of application. This is with most number of application. This is with uh, less applications than uh, 365. So it's just uh, all of them works exactly in the same manner. The portal will be the same. The admin console will be the same. The only difference is E5 has the most services. So uh, once you go down here uh, and here so these are all of the services and in this uh, complete series we'll be working with all the services that are available so i'm going to go to learn more and when we go here uh, you need to go to we need to create actually a free account with them so in this uh, let me see uh, actually there are a number of different sites different uh, websites uh, where uh, so there are a number of different websites where you can create these accounts. So here this is uh, C plans and offering. And in here we can go to, uh, we can go right here. So let me check that out for a second. No, we don't need to go here. Uh, we need to create an account. So uh, let me check that out and I'll come back. In a Okay, so here on this link, when you go to Microsoft uh, 365 and go to product, there is no link for the create a free account. So I just tried with uh, create, I would say, create free uh, Microsoft uh, 365 E5 account. And if you go to this link, this link will take you to a, to a page where you can select where, where you can select free trial account. So this is why uh, what I was saying that there are so many pages where you can see the plans and prices and not all of the options are here. So we are going to go to the free trial on this one. Uh, within free, free trial, uh, first of all, it will ask you to create a new account. You already have a subscription uh, through work. Uh, if you already have a subscription, your organization manages the use of. So here, uh, this is uh, this is the account that I already have, but I'm going to create a new account for this uh, for this series. So in this, I am going to go to create a new account. So you should better you should create a new account. Do not link your. Uh, I would say that you shouldn't link your existing account uh, with this because uh, later on when the subscription expires and and we are all doing that for the training purposes we don't want to continue we don't want to pay anything at the moment other than to just learn uh, the technology so it will expire within one month so when you're ready to deactivate uh, so it shouldn't deactivate your real uh, working account so for that reason i would say just create a brand new account uh, in this case so here it's not showing me for some reason my account information um, so here one more time we are going to go here sometimes the browser uh, won't work I'll try that on a, 
on uh, Chrome. I'll try that on Chrome because I think I'm already logged in. That is why it's just uh, it's just not letting me uh, use it. So here I'm not logged in. So here we can create a new account, and you should create a new account as well. You're signed out uh, out of the account. It's a uh, good idea. Okay, going back. And one more time here, uh, we can say create a free Office 365 E5 account. So in this case, we are going to go to this one, Office 365 trial account. So go make sure you're on the Microsoft, you're on Microsoft website and uh, so it is taking me to that page so right here I'm gonna go to free trial so when I go there here you need to come to this link so uh, so once you come to this link let me try to copy it somewhere so that I can share it with you in the description of this video so here I'm gonna put that link here uh, in the notepad and here I will add a new account so I'm gonna say uh, I need to create an account called uh, mm, let me first find an account that I can use over this so I'm gonna say 360 IT training 01 360 IT training 01 at hotmail.com. So this is a brand new account that I don't have. So let's see if it can create a new account right from here. So I've so here it's it. Uh, so since it is a brand new account, it doesn't exist anymore. So for that reason, I am just creating this account now and I am going to set up this account. So in setting up, I need to provide, let's say my name. And here I need to provide business phone number with which, uh, with which I can uh, basically. So I'm providing my business uh, phone number on which uh, that can receive. Uh, basically, it it should you uh, receive uh, it should receive a text message. So what I'm gonna do here, I am going to uh, pause the video and then I'm gonna fill up the. the so once you provide all that information, it will take you this next step and here it will again ask you to uh, verify the uh, the phone number. So I'm gonna verify it from my uh, phone and once it is done, I'm gonna move to the next step. So once you verify your phone number and uh, once you verify, I notice it, uh, I did a typo in my name, but that's fine. I can change that later on. So here, uh, once you verify your phone number, it, it takes you to the next step. And this is where you need to create your domain name for this. So domain name, basically this one will be your company name. So in this case, my case, it will be 360IT. So I named it 360IT and 360IT dot on Microsoft.com will be the, will be, uh, the will be uh, the email address so in this case it's not available 360 it services let's say if this is available this this name is available this is fine and we'll move to the next step so we are all set and here i am going to create my first account and that first account will be i am going to create my account which is uh, adnan.heather and i am going to create a password for this So I am going to use a normal password for uh, all these uh, accounts here and sign up. So once it is done, it will create that account. And once the account is created, uh, once the account is created, you will be able to, you will be, uh, you, you are logged into uh, Office 365. So Office 365 E5 subscription, basically this is Microsoft 365 E5 subscription. And once you're logged into this,
this is my password manager that manages all of the passwords so here it will save this information within this so i'm just going to name it 360 it so that i know uh, which username and password is this and the account is created uh, for this uh, for this uh, so the local account with the domain is created in office 65 and also uh, my new user my new email address is also created so i'm going to copy that in a notepad it's better to keep track of everything what you are doing so you might need this information later on so here we are done so we'll go to the setup so we'll change uh, to the setup on this screen. Uh, so our, our account is created and uh, I'm just gonna go into the setup. This is the main admin console uh, right here. So here it is the uh, Microsoft 365 admin console. It is the center. This is the home screen and the users. If I go to active users, uh, we can see there is only one user that we created and there is one license already used out of 24 four licenses so there are uh, there are 24 licenses that are provided here uh, in this uh, in with this free subscription for one month and for one month you can use all these services actually this is the settings this is where you have billing groups and setup uh, but the main services that we are going to learn in this complete series are the security compliance active directory exchange online teams sharepoint and if i go to all admin center services these are all services and there are more services as well uh, so um, in this video we have seen uh, we so it, this video this video was an intro to our uh, video series number one the uh, and the architecture that we are going to create and uh, in this video we are we have created our first uh, our subscription in Microsoft 365 and the subscription type is e5 e5 with all of the services so thank you for watching this video